And then when we're ready... That's a lousy shot, but I think I took out a bush. Hey, my god, it floats. Oh my god. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And big thanks to the people that showed up for the stream this weekend, or this past weekend. Uh, it was, I actually had fun working on the pinball table. I was uh, I'm sure I was chasing my balls around half the time, but hey, it was fun. Uh, I was thinking about it. I've got. I realize I need to get up more of an angle on it. So next weekend, we're gonna. I'm gonna make sure I get us to the desert before the stream even starts. I'll try to see if I can get a couple of uh, teleport points. We'll call them in different biomes, different areas where we can build. Uh, I'm going to be changing the series up a little bit. I'm going to do most of my testing here, like experiments, you know, stuff like that, and, you know, like that. And then for the bigger builds, like, for instance, the spider, which has seen better days, and I feel really sorry for him right now, but uh, builds like that, I'm going to try to start building in a creative. Uh, one just makes it easier for resources. Uh, don't have to worry about the power running out all the time and also for the sa sa the the sake of lag sorry but anyways uh, I was working on a little project after the stream here I was thinking about the spider and uh, the weights and what I can do with the motor and stuff like that and I decided I was gonna start uh, weighing out all the blocks in the game uh, I made a scale here to weigh the bigger stuff surprisingly the most heaviest block in the game is what was it the beacon uh, some of the things are misleading, like, believe it or not, using one ceiling panel is actually heavier than using 16 blocks, surprisingly. And then these things here, they're 7 blocks long, but they're the same weight as 12. So, you know, I definitely got to start thinking about how I'm going to build stuff, because uh, that spider could be a lot less. Uh, someone suggests I use railings for the hover pads, and that does actually work, so... I will be using that next time. Uh, then I made this small scale here, and this actually, I'm surprised this even worked. I've had so much trouble with this, don't, don't mind the hover pads. Uh, that was just, it was supposed to be like a self-leveling. Because I've got this so short, it's not as responsive. Uh, but if I do place a block on it, you'll be able to watch it drop down. But when you, when it's even, it doesn't really balance out too much it's doing a little bit better but that's how I've been telling if it's been a balanced load is if it goes down it starts coming back up then I know it's a little too heavy and I go back on this side we'll just stand on a little bit and get it going the other way sorry about that and then it goes this way why is it heavier on that side <laughs> oh perfect time for a save oh because I still have the battery on there I was weighing the battery, so we take that off and it goes back up. We'll place another block on top. If I made this longer, it would probably be a little more self-leveling. And then we should have a balanced load. I think if I do it like a coat hanger, it should work out a little bit better. But I'll just show you the guts on this one. I put some pictures up on Steam. And it's basically just six hinges all together. And I go on the back side here. Got two bars going across and then two links here. And what keeps this these sides straight is I have a, a, a bearing rotor. I call them rotors. We'll call them rotors. One there and then one there. And the, those two keep the, the center point fixed. So when this side comes up, whatever's attached to this beam, which is connected to those two bearings there. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, we'll keep this straight so it keeps everything in alignment. And this is sort of something I'm going to have to do to get the whole big mech project working. That's why it's going to take some time to do. Uh, unfortunately, there is issues with things connecting, so that's why you see this big block here. Uh, I basically started from here, I built out this way, came up over here, stopped there, came back on this side, built up this side. And when I got to here, this is basically just a single block inside with this one on top and that on over there. This is not connecting to the rest of it. So I basically had to build around it and because it's a scale, I had to have it even on both sides. And same with here. This one had to come down this block, and I think it was this one and this one. And I sort of tried to lock it all in place just to keep it symmetrical. But it does work, surprisingly. 
I've never used this many bearings before, but every single bearing is moving the way it's supposed to, which is good. Uh, I have some ideas for the pinball table too with this. Uh, I might be able to use this to get like a multi-ball situation going um, and like hit and shoots and whatnot. Uh, I also have another idea for this one we're going to do next episode, uh, something I can use this for that should be quite interesting and I'm not going to say anything, but what we need to do, and I probably should take in the rover with me, but we're going to go head back to the lake and get that that steamboat up and running, or paddle wheeler. Alright, so I will meet you when we get there. Okay, here she is, and she's been washed ashore, so that is sort of something I was thinking about doing here. I might even consider it because of how the land is, but I was thinking about opening up the lake a little bit. Let's go up to the top here quickly and see what's on the other side, because maybe, maybe since I gotta dig this out anyways, I was thinking about trying to pull it out with a winch, but let's just do it the fun way. I won't dig out the ground. But let's see what's on the other side here quickly, because maybe I'll just level this whole thing. Oh, who's after me? Oh, the Beatles. Eh, not much we can do here. But, yeah. I'll just dig it out. I'll dig it out, get back on the water, and avoid that guy. And, yeah, uh, let's do that. I'm going to fill up the battery just in case I get a jetpack out of here. So, we'll just go along and dig it out. Oh, that autosave scared me. At least get her floating. Don't kill me. Not in the water. Alright, what is it sitting on now? Is that really that little chunk there? Let's find out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's right on here, I think. All right, well, let me get this out and I'll bring you back when it's time to do an overhaul. Okay, I was able to get it out. I just ended up using a winch for it, so that worked out good. Uh, apparently you can't actually connect power to things from above water to underwater because you get to gather, so you actually have to go underwater to connect it. Same with the winch and all that stuff. I missed. But I'm going to try this one side here because I was looking at the other side because I have those sideways and this might... still don't know how this would work if I try to, you know, if I try to switch it over to tires. Um, I was thinking about even just sticking tires here, but that would have to be opened up so let's see if we can at least get it to move on this side so I'm gonna take these out hopefully I don't take everything else out we'll add a couple of blocks one there one there so we can put the hover pads on let's see here okay one and two. I gotta get the ones on the bottom. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get four on either side. Uh, if that doesn't work, I may have to actually build a motor housing on the outside. So let me get the uh, these configured and we'll try it out. Okay, it has been refitted with four. All I did is just to, uh, extend it across a little bit and put them sideways instead. So it's not that difficult. I'm not too worried about the weight, but hopefully this is going to be enough. So this side is directional. This side is steering. So I'm just basically using left and right to control this side, forward and back to control this side. And if I want to go forward, I have them both going forward. Hey, it's working. Almost. Not quite enough power. That one's going. Not doing anything though. 
Why isn't this one going? Oh, I know why. Doesn't have enough blo uh, blocks to grab onto. Because this one is technically out a little bit more. So I just gotta go and do this. Give it some more power, or some more uh, gripping. I should get rid of that shackle. I don't need that there anymore. Uh, let's see, three. Do, do, do. Now I do have to fill them in because the hover pads don't work on the empty frames, I've noticed. And zappy, zappy, zappy. It moved. That was a good sign. I probably do have to mirror on the other side, so at least we get some proper buoyancy. Okay, let's not do that again. <laughs> it's been a while since I've died. Uh, which one is it? Holy jeez, how many stasis chambers do I have? Uh, Alright, I'll spawn back at the lab. I'll meet you, meet you when I get back there. Leave it to me to roll a hovercraft, huh? I decided to bring the hovercraft back because uh, my rover's over here. So my body's way, way over there. And I thought yeah, I'd just show you that little noob moment there. But anyways, uh, let me get my stuff back and I'll bring you back when it's time to test it out. Alright, so I got the sides uh, expanded a little bit. I was smart too. I stood on the foundation. I tried to tried to plant it, and these things started freaking out. And I really hope those bearings are okay, because I really don't want to have to rebuild that. All right, we're good. So let's see if we have any power now. Still doesn't want to go. Eight is definitely the way to go. Oh yeah, I need more power. Definitely. It's almost moving me. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I might have to rebuild these. Uh, get the, the actual motor sections. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Well, I guess that would work. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll do this off camera. I'll come back and I'm going to have the motor sections in here. I'm going to use the fences to try to make it lightweight. And I'll bring you back when it's all done. Okay, here's what I got. So as you can see, I got this side all set to directional. This or yeah, directional. This side to steering. Uh, surprisingly, these ones I didn't have to switch over. I just set them all to steering, and they were all going the right way. So with that being said, let's give it a test. Actually, <laughs> before I do anything, we gotta take out our anchor. All right. Alright, well, it's somewhat floating. I'm gonna have to adjust the buoyancy in the back here a little bit. I do, reali do realize that there is actually, as they call it, a hover height. That should be good. So let's try that. Let's see if we can back this thing out. So, steering is for this side. side works better for some reason. I don't know why. It's definitely working though. It's weird. The steering doesn't have as much power. Hmm. I wonder if I could change the buoyancy on these. Makes less room for, or less that the motors have to fight. Okay, I'm going to bring all this down to low, and we'll try that. It's a little better. Come on. It's almost like it's stuck. Let's see if we can back this thing up. I think that's what it is. I've got too close to the shore. It's dragging across the bottom. But it is moving. Oh yeah, we've caught something. Hmm, we've caught something. 
All right, let's see if we can get this out to open water here. I'm wondering if that block is obstructing it. Obstructing the, the actual turning capability of it. Because it can barely move it the other way. Hmm. Does work, sort of. Uh, give me a minute. I'll get it out to open water. Well, it's free, but it's not going very fast. The steering does work. As you can see, I can control each one independently. But for some reason, the steering on the pads isn't as strong as the directional, which is expected. But since so we can get them both going forward, this. This side should be going as fast as that, but it doesn't. Yeah, that was worth a shot. I think it's just too heavy. I've got to set the buoyancy. It's not touching the ground or anything. I think it's just too big, like everything else I build. But anyways, I think I'm going to call the episode here. Um, next episode, I'm going to attempt an elevator design of some sort. Uh, feeling optimistic about optimistic about that one especially considering the fact that i've done a weigh-in of all our parts uh sadly this is just going to end up beached again because don't work i think i need bigger paddles more power maybe we'll try a tire trick on i don't know not like we can go very far but anyways so that's going to be it for this episode i thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and i'll see you in the next one later